2020, a year many want to consign to history. But with Brexit on the horizon, restoring economic certainty to the country's pandemic-hit towns and cities will be a challenge. On the eve of Britain's divorce from the EU, in the port city of Dover, old questions remain. Is this really the right thing to do? It's got to be better. We, we, we need to govern ourselves and be our own bosses. There's going to be a lot of stress between everyone anyway because it's a very unknown and people don't deal well with change. The UK left the EU legally at the end of January but remained subject to its rules while it negotiated new arrangements. A deal now in place, people will start to see what Brexit really means. It could be years before some changes are felt. The agreement on reducing the EU's access to British fishing grounds only lasts five years and will need renegotiating, while decisions still have to be made on financial services and data sharing. There won't be any new taxes to pay on exports at the border, but there'll be plenty of red tape and possible delays. Everyday freedoms will also end, with new rules on travel, immigration, mobile phone use, bank accounts, the list goes on. And there are profound implications for the future of the United Kingdom. Brexit's reignited Scotland's independence debate. The Scottish Nationalist Party has called Brexit an unforgivable act of economic vandalism, promising to restore EU membership to largely pro-EU Scotland if it becomes independent. Northern Ireland is the only part of the UK that will continue to follow many of the EU's rules to avoid the return of a contentious hard border with EU member the Republic of Ireland. But that means new checks on goods entering Northern Ireland from the rest of the UK. Unionists who want to retain seamless ties with Britain now fear being cut off. I think the deal has made Northern Ireland a place apart. We wanted to come out of the European Union in the same terms as the rest of the United Kingdom. Sadly, that didn't happen. For four and a half years, Brexit's convulsed British politics, polarising the country, dividing families. Even the father of British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has announced he's in the process of applying for a French passport to retain ties with the EU. All of this does, of course, mean that we might start to hear the word Brexit just a little less. But deep divisions and fierce passions remain. Whether or not Brexit drives or diminishes the British economy, we know it's going to happen. And in one last stroke of irony, it will be at midnight Brussels time, not midnight British time, that the changes will come into force. The moment Britain voluntarily disconnects from the world's largest trading bloc. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.